there hope you're doing great today in today's quick video I wanted to give you an update on the recent activity we've had within our business specifically when looking at and evaluating various investment opportunities we are presented with many we look through a ton of deals before we decide which ones to invest in which ones to share with our investors and we only proceed with those that meet our investment goals objectives guidelines and those of our investors of course that involves numerous conversations with various sponsors looking through the actual deal the under underlying um, underwrite the um, documentation basically all of the details um, before making those investment decisions so uh, we've passed on several in the past few weeks and I just wanted to share with you um, why we passed. Again, the reasons are specific to us and our investment goals and objectives. What's right for us may not be right for everyone and vice versa. The reason why we pass on a deal may be a reason why another investor likes that opportunity. Um, so this is um, sharing just our own experience and, and um, viewpoints. Um, first, one of the opportunities that we were presented with, it was a sizable one and we've done sizable deals in the past. However, that particular one had a preferred equity partner in the debt stack, um, someone that the sponsor hadn't worked with previously, um, that um, they had been referred to, but we introducing that additional decision maker um, to the process uh, sometimes add a certain level of uncertainty in, in terms of how they'll behave, how they'll react, how their contract is structured, and even if they're going to follow through if, if something was to happen. Um, another one had a negative leverage situation where the interest rate on the bank loan was higher than the cap rate at which the property was being purchased. Um, of course, in the past few years, there were many deals that were done like that and why operators were still able to weather the storm was because there were exorbitant um, uh, rent growth trends, exorbitant uh, upside potential and rents, uh, while expenses were relatively nominal. Um, the equation has now reversed where expenses are rising with insurance, taxes, labor, uh, materials, other fees, while rents are returning to their um, more normalized run rate. And so buying at le negative leverage, which is usually an early indicator of negative cash flow at the onset is not something we are pursuing at the moment. Um, number three is the underwrite, a variety of assumptions that didn't quite make sense to us and that's across a variety of deals, um, whether the stabilization period was completely lacking or perhaps expense assumptions were too aggressive, meaning too low, or rent ass assumptions were too aggressive meaning too high. In another deal, um, we weren't very enamored with the sub-market, which was in a lower uh, median household income area that wasn't supporting the projected um, rents and rent assumptions. Um, so the, the sub-market was, um, was not something that was within our uh, comfort zone. And um, there was another deal that has a very unique cash call structure. Um, not all cash call provisions are drafted equally. And then that particular one had an additional penalty component, which again, didn't sit well with us. And it's not something that um, we usually sign up for. And we, we look to protect our investors from uh, Nobody's projecting <laughs> that uh, cash calls will occur and just like nobody gets uh, married with the idea of getting divorced uh, Nobody gets into a deal with the idea that cash calls will occur But again as we evaluate those opportunities We have to protect the downside and think through the downside So these are just a few observations to give you guys a sneak peek into what's going on <laughs> in our mind as we approach those various opportunities and as we 
um, assess those options. It's um, um, it's important to think through those risks up front so we do a lot of that heavy lifting to uh, make sure we protect you as uh, our passive investor so that's it for today if you have any questions feel free um, to reach out directly our contact information is in the comments below and if you enjoyed this video please like share and subscribe and we'll see you at the next one